Hello and welcome back to House Plant Menageries and today I'm doing a big no-no with this Anthurium papillolaminum. I'm going to be propagating this even though there is a new leaf coming out. <laughs> but the reason is when I unpotted this it had just like the longest stem ever because it's been cut multiple times and I kind of don't like the stem being buried so deep below the surface so I'm gonna cut it I'm only planning on doing it two pieces but I might do three um, yeah this is gonna be my first time propagating an anthurium so yeah oh I see some nice new roots in here actually that's good seems like the roots are growing pretty quickly contrary to what I've been hearing on the internet just pulling all this moss off okay you can see how tall the stem above the soil is and there's also probably about a half of what's up here also below the soil you have to look at where I'm gonna cut okay So this is like basically a brand new plant. Actually, I bought this exactly two weeks ago and it was at the aeroid show. And I didn't look closely at the roots, I just potted it. I do see a lot of mushy roots, so I'm gonna be pulling all those off. But yeah, you can see like the stem, how long it is. Yeah, I'm gonna cut off all these mushy roots. Okay, I wasn't expecting to have to actually pause the camera, but I am gonna pause the camera for this. I need to find my remote again. Okay, I cleared off most of the rotted parts. And I was looking at it, and basically this whole bottom half of the stem has no roots on it from there down. So I'm gonna have to cut it a little higher probably right above this newer root. This has been cut a lot of times. I can see, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven cuts. This has been cut, cuts, because it's cut, cuts. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for something with nice, healthy roots. Go right in there. Okay. So I've got my top cutting with good roots and a nice piece of stem. I can't tell if you can see it whatsoever. I also have, oops, don't let that touch. I also have this chunk with good roots. Not many roots, but good roots. And I think I'm gonna plant this more horizontally like that, so this whole section of stem is above the soil. Okay, so I think Do I think? I think this cup will be a good size for that. This one, I don't know. It has more, and I don't have any larger clear pots. I only have this one, which is smaller, and the cups are all smaller, so this is gonna have to go into a not clear pot. Just brought a square one in here recently. Where did I put it? Um, yeah. Oops. And this will go. My spaghetti noodle. All these noodles in there. This will go in like that. 
these will be much more reasonably sized pots than this with one leaf coming out of it. Now I should put some activated charcoal on the ends of the cuts, but I don't have any. So it's just gonna have to be fine. So I'm planting this high because I want to give it a moss collar and I want to have lots of space to probably propagate this in the future. Now my plan is the stump I want to have be my cutting plant and this be my growing plant. I want to get this to mature. I want to get it to bloom. collar around here. Okay. Now I'm going to pop this over here and then I'll get that back into the greenhouse. does need a stake though. I'm just going to use this. Alright, the stake's not great, but it'll have to work. Okay, now for this one, I'm also going to plant this pretty high. Ooh, this doesn't have drainage. Should I give this drainage? Probably should. Where's my knife? I just did this yesterday to give a cut some holes. I'm just gonna like stab it a few times. I did five, you could probably do two, but well training is ideal. I imagine that aeroids will like my soil because it's it drains well because I don't pack it in that much, but it also is very moisture retentive because it doesn't have a lot of chunks but it has a good amount of perlite that's just my theory though okay and more soil most of this stem that's sticking up. Make sure not to cover the top part though. That's a good color. Just gonna pack this in. All right, and there we go. That one's a lot more boring. Got this big mass of rotten roots I'm gonna put into my bucket over here. What just fell? What did you fall? Sorry, I was cleaning up a little bit. I'm gonna pop those in the greenhouse and then I'll give you a shot of that. 
for them in the greenhouse. Here they are. I believe this is a pure anthurium. Uh, anthurium gunayala, perhaps. My guess. It also might be a poached, I don't really know. And here they are. Right there is the two. The little stump and the top cutting. That new leaf. I don't know if it focused or not. I can't tell because I did not change the way my camera's facing. Anyway, so yeah, I'll give some updates on this as it hopefully grows and hopefully this will grow a new shoot. And I'll see you later. Bye!